What's up, Baller Nation? Augie Johnson here with BallerBootCamp.com, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can score more points in the actual games. I'm talking about the real high school games, your organized rec games, how you can do it, how you can score more points, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that by teaching you guys three ways to score off a dribble handoff. Okay, so we're talking about dribble handoffs. Okay, dribble handoffs are part of modern basketball. You see them in the college level, the high school level, the pro level, a ton. And it's basically just when you dribble at a teammate and you do a little shovel pass or a little handoff here to your teammate. Now I'm gonna show you what the receiver can do to get off a shot and create a shot for himself. So let's just say I'm in the corner down here and I'm gonna come high off this handoff from my teammate. There's a few things you can do. Option number one is of course to get it and turn the corner. Okay, you wanna get the ball, turn the corner, and get to the basket. That's option number one. Very simple thing to do. You come off full speed. The only tip I have is to make sure to get your hips around, get your inside foot back so that you can push off and attack straight to the basket in a straight line. Okay, so the next way that you can score off the handoff as a receiver is with a back cut. So if my defender is playing high on me, they're gonna try to fight over the, the handoff that I can just go ahead and take one step here, back door, plant really hard, change directions, and the ball handler should have his live dribble. He should be able to make a one-handed pass on time right into my bas bread basket so I can go up and score with a layup. So that's the back cut. That's the second read that you need to make off the handoff if your defender is up in the passing lane trying to deny. Okay, so what if your defender is just slipping under these handoffs and getting beating you to the spot and playing defense? If they're gonna slip really hard under that handoff, you want to pause and shoot or pause and rip through. So what I mean is as I'm coming off this this handoff right here, if I see my defender going to slip under there, I can pause before I get to the handoff, stop here, my defender tries to slip under, the, the guy with the ball will just dish it with a little shovel pass right to me right here, and now I can catch and I can shoot. Okay, so it's going to be to pause, catch, and shoot, or pause, catch and rip through and attack this lane right here. So that is the third and final way that you can counter when your defender is slipping under the screen. Okay, so for the last bonus tip, I know I only said there's gonna be three. The fourth one is for actually the ball handler. So as I'm coming to hand this ball off, I can do what I call a keep. Okay, so here I come and instead of doing the handoff here and dishing the ball to my teammate, I can keep it, keep my dribble alive and keep the ball and attack all the way to the rim. All right guys, I hope you guys liked that video. If you did, then hit that like button. If you're new, make sure you guys subscribe. We release all kinds of basketball training tutorials just like the video that's next to me on this screen. So go ahead, if you like this video, check out a next one, and I'm sure you're gonna like that one too to help you level up your game. So go ahead, click the link that's on the screen right now, and I will see you guys inside that video.